Now, we're getting to some points about trial, though, of Officer Juvik Nick. However you say his last name. The guy who had his knee on Floyd's neck, right? <laughs> well, we found out why he was called to the seat, right? The guy passed an illegal $20 bill, right? Counterfeit, right? And again, was on some kind of medication, maybe Oxycontin or something, right? Too, and was acting a little belligerent before everyone else got to the seat, right? And it's during the eight minutes, nine minutes after <laughs> he's trying to restrain him the whole time, right? That that's when you get to the seat, right? <laughs> he's then been doing other things to restrain him before you got there, right? Though, here's the problem. Mm -hmm. When someone is restraining you, you cannot say a word of resistance. Not even I can't breathe, right? Because <laughs> if you're saying it loud enough, he can't believe you, you can't breathe, and you're resisting your rest, right? That's the problem there, too, right? <laughs> you can't say shit, <laughs> Let him arrest you, put you in the damn car. It don't matter if you're claustrophobic, right? What's he going to do? Call a bus for you, right? Call a van, right? That's not part of the procedure, right? They bring you in in a police car, right? You don't get special treatment. <laughs> Just because you're claustrophobic. <laughs> if the police <clears throat> are arresting you for being on drug possessions and passing a counterfeit $20 bill. That's the problem too. <laughs> now we're talking about the law, which is not nice but cruel. <laughs> the law is a bitch <laughs> when you break it. <laughs> it's good if you can keep it, but if you break it, you got to pay the consequences. Sorry. Right? Now, mm -hmm. it don't matter your skin color at that point. Oh, she start with this dress. Right, right. It's the same about with the guy passing the Lucy cigarettes, right? <laughs> That's a crime. <laughs> Anything, even a misdemeanor, you can be arrested for. <laughs> I don't know that. And go to jail. <laughs> and it's Chauvin, right? Derek Chauvin, right? <laughs> now, mm-hmm. You're the police officer and you got this big dude who's, in your mind, resisting arrest to where three officers can't hardly keep him on the ground. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yes, it's that he's black and it's about his size, sir. Right? <laughs> Is that prejudice, though? If you're dealing with a gorilla, right, like I'm talking about myself here, right, and it's a big guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to deal with him differently than you would a smaller guy who's on drugs, right? Now, when you're getting to the scene the nine minutes later, right, you also cannot honestly say that it's not the drugs that could have killed him as well. Mm -hmm. Reasonable doubt in a criminal trial is all you got to prove unless it's a civil trial. Now, a civil trial is proven by different facts. Like with my Kia case, the fact is I had a broken ankle. They put me in the thick. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> Especially if I'm telling you I've never drove a six-speed before versus a five-speed, right? That might cause me problems if I'm not used to driving a six-speed, right? And told you I've only driven the fifth five speed, which is part of the complaint as well. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> See, if I can prove it might be more difficult for a disabled veteran to drive a six speed versus a five speed, 
and I never drove one before. Uh, <laughs> and they put me in the six speed anyway. And I brought it up, and they don't remember it or not, right? <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter. Now, another reason for the wreck could be mechanical failure, right? The brake failed to stop the vehicle in time, and the vehicle went barely through the stoplight. <laughs> Like I didn't slam on them when I did. I know. <laughs> that means Kia itself, the automobile fat maker, <laughs> didn't put good brakes on that car to where it stopped in time. <laughs> Not just the people who sold me the car, which that's about the suit for the 15, right? That's why I only went after 15, right? For them even putting me in the car, though, was a danger to those that me and those around me because of the ankle, right? And because it's a six-speed transmission, not your normal five, and I never drove one before. <laughs> I didn't know if I could drive it safely or not, but I would raise it up as a red flag. I don't know. Do you understand the difference? Though? <laughs> and see, I can't lose my job, but the salesperson can't. You can't use him because he's a biased witness. I don't know. Mm hmm as well, as well. <laughs> He's got to say what his boss tells him to say. And I could have brought in my attorney for my bankruptcy as a witness that I tell everybody about my disability and prove you were lying. Because <laughs> I mean... I'm also in contact with him about the price of the vehicle, right? If I can afford it or not, right? And the point ain't, okay, mm -hmm, about it being an automatic or a stick or not at the time either. Either I don't know I can't drive the six speed yet, right? Until I'm on the road and that situation developed, right? <laughs> and what did I say was the problem, right? <laughs> I lost sight of the light, which was above where I was looking at on the road. <laughs> Had someone been in front of me and slowing down, I could have stopped differently, right? But no one was in front of me either. <laughs> so. See, the whole circumstance, this is what I'm talking about, which is what caused the wreck. All the above, all the above. Including the ankle distracting me, right? Including the light being up higher, right? And including, right, <laughs> it being a six feet, right? And it also could have had to done with mechanical failure of the brakes, right? Uh -huh. Right. Because <laughs> it's like it didn't want to stop when I slammed on the brakes, right? It kept barreling through the red light, right? Well, usually the brakes are supposed to clamp it and stop it on the dot, right? I shouldn't have went through the red light, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, you know. But see, I don't know what happened to the vehicle. It could have been destroyed. It's once, <clears throat> sorry. once a vehicle is totaled, what that means is what? Mm -hmm. It's Usually crushed or something, right? And put back into the stockpile. Right? Mm -hmm. But see, the insurance company does take pictures of how the accident occurred, right? Right? And here's the trial again, right? Now, I'm not telling you how to vote according to the law, right? That's what they're going to do, I know. But see, he, he said it was likely cause of death, right? Because of Mr. Floyd's cardiac arrest, oxygen, oxygen deficient. That was one of the more likely possibilities. I felt that at the time, based on the information I had, it was more likely than the other possibilities. And, and doctor, is there another name for death by oxygen deficiency? Asphyxia is a commonly understood term.
Let's start our coverage this afternoon with CNN security correspondent Josh Campbell, who's live outside that Minneapolis courthouse. And Josh, I just want to skip straight to this police chief, who we're about to hear more from on the other side of this lunch recess. This is a man who clearly is well respected in the community. He started out as a cadet, you know, uh, way back in the 1980s, and gradually worked his way up to being Minneapolis police chief. And he wrote a number of the the training, the protocol. Uh, which these officers are trained to follow. What stood out to you from this testimony? Well, people may be asking, what is the prosecution building to here? And obviously, we're now in the lunch break. We will be hearing more from the police. Now, what I'm preparing you for is you got to prove it, though, beyond all reasonable doubt, right? The difference between that, right, is not what you think after. An event, right? It's what's going on leading up to the event, too, right? And <clears throat> the jury has to decide, right? Did the officer, I know, even though the prosecution is putting on a good case that he was at fault, right? But was he truly at fault? Was he truly in fear for his life at the scene? If he was, you can't put yourself in another man's shoes, right? That's why John wouldn't do it even with Jesus. <laughs> I'm not worthy to even latch at his shoes, right? His sandals, right? You don't know what another man's going through, right? <laughs> you only know what you're going through, right? <laughs> and I'm not saying he won't be found guilty that he could be, right? <laughs> I'm just preparing you either way, right? I've seen this all before, right? Mm hmm. Right over that. And the problem is, there is a double standard with black people, right? Because you're also portrayed as more violent than white people. <laughs> Let's be honest, though. But you also act more uppity, right? You act like you have privilege. <laughs> when you don't, <laughs> sometimes, right? You act like you have black privilege. You got a right to be man, the white man. <laughs> well, that might be taking it too far. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, right? Now, if you're trying to go back to a normal society... All right, your rights are the first thing you got to establish. What do you have the right to do, right? Because mm -hmm. no one has the right to do anyone wrong, right? In the first place, right? And the reason the police were called is the bad $20 bill, right? You can't, it's a felony <laughs> to pass counterfeit money. It don't matter the amount. I know it don't. <laughs> the amount don't matter. I know it don't. <laughs> now, then they were told he was on some kind of medication like Oxycontin. <laughs> and they're trying to arrest him and put him in the car. <laughs> and he's resisting arrest. I know. You're not thinking like an on-duty police officer in the heat of the moment. You're thinking after the fact, right? <laughs> That's all I can tell you. <laughs> now, the problem with Officer Martin is he should see the scene as different. Right? And I told him it was different, but then at the end he made it my fault. Right? I didn't expect that. <laughs> so I had to sue him. I know. <laughs> But then he used sovereign immunity like he's a king, right? That only applies if you're a king breaking your own rules. <laughs> That's what the law is there for. For a king, a foreign diplomat in America has sovereign immunity, right? A police officer born and raised in America does not, right? He can't apply it. Why? <laughs> he made the mistake in my left hand turn where I stopped. <laughs> if I'm in my lane, I'm not in her lane and she would have to swerve into me, right? While crossing the median, right? 
She can't do that either. <laughs> I can no more go into her lane than she can come into mine or she's going to hit me. And I'm not going to be in her lane. <laughs> That's what I'm showing you with crossing even the median there, right? If you go straight, you're not going to hit nobody like me. <laughs> but if two cars are in front of me, turning out, <laughs> left with me, and they're already pulling out when she's hitting the intersection. Or they couldn't have pulled out. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> For two cars to go ahead and go, they had to have the right of way. I know. I keep telling you that too. <laughs> And she would then have to swerve in the molly <laughs> to avoid hitting them. She cannot do that. She's got to stop. She didn't have it. I know she didn't have it. She didn't have the right of way herself. Though I stopped anyway. I know. It didn't help her because she couldn't go straight. I know. <laughs> and she swerved into my lane. <laughs> Not me, her. <laughs> I'm still in my lane and stop before I even entered her lane, right? <laughs> By a few feet. <laughs> mm. Two, two. <laughs> I don't need to do anything but reenact the scene, right? How I remember it, right? <laughs> like on Judge Judy. When you, when you do the little car scene, right? And they're showing you how the traffic was going. <laughs> All I got to show is two cars were in front of me, which is what I told the insurance company, right? Which she would have to swerve to get pull out herself. Which means when they were pulling out, she was at the intersection, which means she came to it and went on through it. I know. <laughs> you know what that means? She went on through it instead of stopping, right? I stopped because I couldn't complete my turn. I like turned yellow, right? <laughs> First thing I told Officer Martin. <clears throat> but you're doing it like a criminal trial. It's not a criminal trial. It's not a criminal trial. It's a civil trial which requires less proof. <laughs> me saying there were two cars in front of me also turning left. Prove she could have swerved into me. It's not her fault. It's her fault. <laughs> That's all I got to do is suggest two cars were already turning with me. Right. That's also another reason I wouldn't see her behind the two cars, but I stopped anyway. <laughs> I keep telling you that too. <laughs> and like I said, <clears throat> If you have two cars, in front of you, like that, and they're making it, right, on the cross, I know, but you stop here, like I told you, at an angle and she hits you at an angle right because you stopped and she's going straight who's got to swerve the bus the bus has to swerve into your lane to, to, to hit you <laughs> or she won't hit you or she won't hit you if she just had went straight she wouldn't have hit me at all I know but because he, he's pulling me in way over here right <laughs> I'm behind him, but I stop, right? Like this. I'm at an angle. <clears throat> and that's how she hits me is at the angle, right? Boom. <clears throat> she don't hit me head on. <laughs> she don't hit me head on at all. No. <laughs> <clears throat> she hits you on the corner of the bus, too. Right. <laughs> Makes it her fault. <laughs> She's already in your lane. She's already in my lane. No, no. We all know when we were making a left-hand turn like this, you got a lane. Uh, that's what I keep telling you. <laughs> and she's going like this. Bam! She hit me so hard, I thought I was hitting the damn side of the neck. <laughs> side of the head. <laughs> I know. 
Because who's trying to beat the yellow light? She is. She is. <laughs> Who knows he can't make it? You do. I do. I stop. <laughs> now, <laughs> as I'm pulling out, I see the other car pulling into their lane, too, right? So I stop, right? I know I can't complete my turn. <laughs> so they're already in the left hand of the two lane highway of the right lane of the left lane, right? right. They're pulling in, right? <laughs> As I'm here, right? But I stop, right? <laughs> I know I can't go no further. <sighs> How do I know? <laughs> Traffic laws. I've been following since I was 16, right? Right. Right. <laughs> Now, another part of the law is you can't cross I know, and go into the other person's lane either. either. <laughs> when you're going straight, you have a narrower. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can only do what? Go straight. Go straight. <laughs> you're going to hit somebody. You can't swerve. Right. <laughs> With two cars here, right, pulling out. Because, mm -hmm. well, see, they can't pull out if she's at the intersection either. They got to wait for her, too, right? See, they got to wait for her if they see her at the intersection when they pull out. <laughs> so would I. <laughs> but I can't see her if I'm behind two other cars, can I? No. No. <laughs> but I do what? Anyway, stop. Anyway, I told you that. <laughs> I stopped. Because <laughs> I could not. Complete my turn. What probably light turn yellow? I know. Why can I stop in the middle lane though? They like that. <laughs> Anyone can. Anyone <laughs> can. That's what you do when you're in a left hand turn and you're yielding the right away to someone who might be going straight. I know. But they can't swerve into your lane or they're hitting you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take now, you're here. You're the third car. <laughs> you couldn't even see the damn bus. Mm -hmm. Let alone know she was going to ride the yellow light, too. Right. <laughs> but they couldn't have seen her. They couldn't have went on across either. So she's not even at the intersection yet. Right. <laughs> That's why I'm showing you the whole intersection, too. Right. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> So she's going around the roundabout, mm -hmm, going up to the light, and these two cars are already going out. All right. Uh -huh. When she gets there, mm -hmm. and they're just pulling in, right? Uh -huh. But she starts going because see, she's them about here, right? The last car going in, right? <clears throat> <laughs> That's what I mean when I say I'm being weird wet. So it don't really make sense. No, they don't. No, I don't. <laughs> and you gotta almost use forensics to figure out what the fuck happened. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like with the car wreck where I black out. You don't normally black out at a wreck. No, you don't. <laughs> Unless you're not out. <laughs> and then put the car and then wreck the car. <laughs> oh, foul play, foul play. <laughs> <It doesn't. laughs> right. <laughs> That's what that spells out. <laughs> Even with the Kia one, it's over 60 miles an hour. <laughs> like I said, I'm in the sixth gear. <laughs> but then I look up in the light thread, so I stay on brakes, right? Right. But at least 20 to 50 feet before the light, right? And the car's supposed to be able to stop within that footage, right? <laughs> Even at 65 miles an hour. They all have that test, right? <laughs> it can stop so many feet before from 0 to 60, right? It can go 0 to 60 so fast, and it can go from 60 to 0 so fast, right? <laughs> One's a uh, Acceleration test and one's a braking test, right? Mm -hmm. 
and see. <laughs> I can look all that up. <laughs> mm -hmm. And someone's trying to get me in trouble because I'm disabled. Right. And using the disability against you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But see, you're not seeing the whole scene, though, either. And I can't do it perfectly with the cars, right? Either, either. Mm -hmm. Right? But for the two cars to go, right, no one has to be here mm -hmm. at the intersection, right? Or they can't go either. She would have the right way, right? Right. She, they have to be going before she's even at the intersection, right? She's coming up to it, right? This is what I don't see on her end, right? Because <laughs> I can't see her approaching the intersection. <laughs> and they're already going, so she can't be at the intersection when they start going. <laughs> or they would have hit her. There, they would have hit her. <laughs> Why did the third car hit her? Because she didn't. She wasn't even at the intersection yet. That's right. When they went. When <laughs> they went. But the truth makes you free. <laughs> it's like the stepdaughter thing. I'm on the living room couch, right? It's odd and highly unusual unless the wife's testing our relationship. <laughs> Mine, hers, and the daughter's. <laughs> For that to happen. <laughs> at all, at all. Or the dad. <laughs> Could have coached sure. her. It's got to be someone, though, who has her long enough. <laughs> Daphne and Sal. <laughs> and it will be a criminal offense for you to, to coach you to come in there to me. <laughs> you, <still would. laughs> you, would. you can't do that either. You can't do that either. <laughs> no one can. That's why it's against the law. <laughs> for you to coach a child to wake up a sleepy paranoid schizophrenic. <laughs> Diagnosed with it just that year. <laughs> Just the year before. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's why nobody, <laughs> not my ex-wife or the ex-boyfriend, who knocked her up <laughs> before I met her, you know, <laughs> can do that with a coach to go in there to me. <laughs> right. I don't think grandma would, Daphne, though, <laughs> if you said grandma, <laughs> Well, because whoever's attacking me shouldn't know about it at all. And there's only one other possibility. I talked with someone about it on base tonight. I thought I was blacked out from the fall. <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, the problem is the guy who fell in the Bible was already asleep. <laughs> when he fell, when he fell. He just didn't wake up <laughs> until Paul had to revive him. Right. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I was fully conscious trying to get into my room. Right. So why would I black out? Mm -hmm. I hit inside the building. That's the only logical reason I can give you if I slip. Right. I don't know. That's what you would assume, though, if you blacked out. Right. Right. <laughs> That's not unrational. No. No. <laughs> mm -mm. Now they're doing the. Mm -hmm. Talking about travel over the holidays, all right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But it is the whole point, all right? Right. <laughs> Right. 
Because I'm seeing if they're going to let it go first because they have more memory of it than me. <laughs> Which is odd, ain't it? Everything I'm telling them, they seem prepared for. Like we discussed it before. <laughs> well, the only night we could have discussed it before is the day of. Unless for two weeks they're interrogating me about it. <laughs> and I don't remember that either. And that would be the doctors at the Portsmouth Naval Hospital. Right. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> and that's why, like any detective, I'm going over all the problems I had there. <laughs> Which was basically not right. the night I fell, I know. I made it back to base with Daphne, right? Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> she didn't call the cops on me, huh? I know, right? Which is what you would do if the stepdad had to bring the daughter back in there anyway, period, period. Even if she said grandma, because there's one person who could have coached her to say grandma, and that's Sal. <laughs> and you want to know if he coached her to go in there to meet. <laughs> Not wait 11 years later on YouTube. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you want to know that night where we can get that in the open. I know. And get in front of it, right? Now all I can do is guess what happened, right? And you can tell they're real guesses, but they're based off of logical interaction with the child too, right? Not illogical, right? The main point is I'm where? On the couch, right? She would have to leave her mother's side and come in there to meet, right? Because I didn't have no candy in the house, idiot. <laughs> if you're going to lure the child out with the piece of candy... You can ask my aunt slices so too. <laughs> you gotta have a piece of candy in the damn house. And guess what? You didn't have a damn piece of candy in the house. Nope. <laughs> sure didn't. <laughs> didn't even think of that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that is the only way I might could have lured her out is a piece of candy trick. <laughs> we all know that too growing up, right? Right. You know. <laughs> Or the puppy trick. I didn't have a puppy in the house either did I have to. You didn't have a kitten or a puppy or anything. <laughs> or a kitty or a candy. I couldn't even lure her out of the bedroom. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Unless you want to admit you did it. <laughs> I mean, other than you or Sal, who else would that? <laughs> Someone on base, right? I'm giving you three possibilities, Pastor Thomas, right? We had a little thing about the two witnesses. 